Welcome to another edition of the Daily Racing Forum Queen's Plate Watch. My name is Jeff Bratt. We are two weeks away from Canada's crowning jewel. The starting gate should have some fillies, especially one promising filly going to the starting gate by the name of Curlin's Voyage taking on some boys. And as we know, fillies have done very well in this race in the past. Now, last weekend, there wasn't a whole lot of action on the racetrack with Queen's Plate contenders going into the starting gates. So we asked the Daily Racing Forum Ron Gierkink if there was any changes to his top 10 list. No, it hasn't. We tinkered with the list a little. We, we found out that Elusive Knight at 7 is now off the plate trail after a dull fifth in the plate trial. So we moved up uh, a few and, and we uh, slotted in uh, Golden Wave at uh, number 10. Um, he's a sort of a late developing Mike DiPaolo trained horse who Mike's been quite high on. He was fifth in an allowance last time behind uh, Tecumseh's War and Mighty Heart. But we have it 8 and 9. And I think uh, he's pretty keen on running him. So. And there's a few more faces that we're looking at. Uh, Holyfield, he's not in our top 10, but that he could give uh, Catherine Day a second starter in the race uh, after Tecumseh's War, who actually saw, I saw him work the other day, Tecumseh's War with the Emma Wilson. Very sort of stamina-oriented 5.8s um, and a 101 and 4 after going 38, the first three eights. He finished really strongly, so um, uh, he, he could be a long-shot possibility for the plate. I'm looking forward to this weekend when I hope to see a few of them work, including uh, Curlin's Voyage, our number one. She uh, She's doing well, according to trainer Josie Carroll, after a big Oaks win, and um, I think she's going to go into the plate as a favorite. Will Curlin's Voyage and Clayton scare away some of the other competition, or perhaps we have a full starting gate coming up on September the 12th? We'll update that for you next week. For more information and news on the Queen's Plate, be sure to visit DRF.com.